welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to make those sip and paint canvases that's been going around Facebook. Um, the method I'm going to be using today is HTV. Um, now, I know that you can, what some people are doing is they're taking the canvas, um, like the, the staples out of the back, and then they're taping it to their mat and using the drawing method. Um, that's one way to do it. I honestly don't feel like taking those staples out. Um, and even with the flat canvas, it still won't fit in my Cricut Maker, it's too thick. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be using HTV on the canvas um, to create it today. The canvas size, uh, the canvas size that I'm gonna use today is a 12 by 16. I got these from, um, where did I get these from? I think I got these from Five Below. Three come in a pack, they're $5, they're 100% cotton canvas. And I will show you guys when I, we go over to my heat press, I will show you the canvas. Um, but I have a 12 by 16. So this is the girl I'm gonna do today. Let me show you where I got her from. I got her from Etsy. So this is the Etsy shop that I got this, um, the file from. This is the name of it, SVG Cutting File. Um, and she has uh, tons of, you know, little files that you can use. This, I think this is the one that I have. <clears throat> but she has a ton, ton of different options that you can use. Some that are already colored in, some that are not. Um, but yeah, this is where I got the file from. Okay, and if you go on Etsy, you can find um, a lot of these in a lot of different shops, but this is just the one that I decided to go with. Actually, I think this is the one that I have. So again, this is the name of the shop, SVG Cutting File. Okay, so all I had to do was download my purchase, which is the SVG, and then upload it to Cricut. Um, so because we are using a 12 by 16, I want to cover up a good portion of it. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to make this 11 because I know that my, my mat is a, um, it's a 12, I have a 12 by 24. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and make this 11 wide and I'm going to make it, let's do 15 to see how it looks. Let me unlock this and go back and make this 11, 11 by 15. Yeah, I think that makes it look a little too narrow. So let me do 11 by 14. Okay, so I like that. So we're going to do 11 by 14. Okay, and our canvas, like I said, is 12 by 16. Actually, I'm going to do this 10 and a half just to be safe have a little room to play and then I'll do 13 and a half so it'll give us a little a little border room to create a background because you know you can paint this like the painting with the twist or the slip and paint so my my, my final size is going to be 10 and a half by 13 and a half okay so I'm going to go over here to make it I am going to be using my 12 by 24 mat. We do have to mirror this. I'm just going to be using some black vinyl. Um, and then I'm going to go over to continue. And I'm going to cut this on everyday iron on. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut and then I will meet you guys over at my heat press. Okay guys, so I'm back here at the heat press. This is the canvas that I'm going to be using. Um, it's a three pack, 100% cotton canvas for $5. I did get it from five below and it is um, 12 by 16. <clears throat> Go ahead and cut it open. Okay. 
Okay, and then I do have my image here as well. Let me hold it up so you can see. Here's the image. So I've already, this is just regular black HTV vinyl. Um, or HTV, which is HTV. It's heat transfer vinyl. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this down. And then I'm just going to place this on my canvas. Okay, and I'm going to smooth it out. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lint roll it. Just to make sure there's nothing on here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and place this down. Okay. Now, here it is on our canvas. I think that is so cute. Uh, I thought I'm going I'm to actually paint this. Because I, I did painting with the twist a lot before the pandemic started. And, you know, obviously I had to stop. But I really did enjoy it. It was really fun. Okay. Um, I'm not going to cover it because I have the carrier sheet on here. My heat press is set to 30, 350 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and press for 30 seconds. I may need to adjust my pressure, honestly. Let me go ahead and tighten it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press this for 30 seconds at 350 degrees with medium pressure. Um, I am using the um, the 15 by 15 signature pullout heat press from Heat Press Nation. I know a lot of people ask me about that. <clears throat> um, if you haven't already joined my Facebook group, it's Crafty Mamas with an S on the end. I will try to link it down below, but sometimes my links don't be working. I'm not sure why. hot I'm just gonna let it cool for a second and then we'll go ahead and peel it up and there it is it came out really really cute this is super 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 simple to do there it is and then you would just go ahead and paint um i'm actually going to paint this i'm probably not going to paint it today um but when i paint it i'll come back and show you guys the finished products so this was a quick little tutorial on this i know a lot of people were in the groups asking how to do it um and like i said super simple project HTV, you just gotta find the outline of it. Black HTV, um, the heat transfer vinyl, and a blank canvas. And boom, there you go. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.